7FA R0 blades, a case study of preventing erosion fatigue failures. The rotor life of the 7FA gas turbine is about 144,000 hours or 5,000 starts. The primary life limiting factor is high cycle fatigue cracking at the leading edge of the R0 blade. Crack initiation has been attributed to erosion damage from fogging and compressor washing. The following case study shows how the use of compressive residual stress can mitigate erosion-induced fatigue failure in R0 blades. Why is this research important? Because there are tremendous operation and maintenance costs associated with fatigue failures, like frequent inspections, part replacements, and extended equipment downtime. Extending the life of the R0 compressor blade reduces erosion inspection durations and blade replacements, as well as the downtime each requires. This ultimately reduces costs and increases reliability, confidence, and safety. The following images show a crack in the fatigue prone zone of the leading edge of an R0 blade. The OEM has set a maximum erosion limit of 10 thousandths of an inch. This has prompted some operators to set a limit of 8 thousandths of an inch before initiating repair or replacement of a blade. Damage of less than 10 thousandths of an inch is hard to detect and the method applied by many operators is the use of dental modes to monitor erosion. This is an inconvenient and time consuming process that prolongs the duration of scheduled downtimes. Blending of the blade edge is allowed by the OEM up to four times before requiring retirement from service. At Lambda, our primary approach to component enhancement and fatigue crack mitigation is through residual compression. Residual compressive stress can be introduced through manufacturing processes such as shot peening, laser shock peening, deep rolling, and low plasticity burnishing. The depth, magnitude, and distribution of the compression are designed specifically for each component and application to produce optimal performance. This means going through a process to calculate the minimum residual stress required to mitigate high cycle fatigue cracking. We do this using our proprietary fatigue design diagram. Within the triangular region marked safe, the erosion prone region is in a fully compressed state, and in the absence of tensile stresses, fatigue cracks cannot initiate or propagate. In the case of the R0 blade, it was determined that, given the nominal operating stresses estimated by EPRI, engineering a minimum of negative 100 KSI of through thickness compression into the leading edge will shift the total stress state into the safe zone, effectively ensuring high cycle fatigue failures cannot occur. Once the engineered residual stress field is designed, the blades are processed. We use low plasticity burnishing to introduce design compression, LPB has several benefits over other processes, such as minimal cold work, which makes the compressive layer more stable at elevated temperatures. LPB also leaves a smooth mirror-like surface finish on all processed parts, which facilitates inspections and improves blade efficiency. On the graph to the far right, residual stress was quantified using X-ray diffraction after processing. The residual stress distribution shows through thickness compression in the leading edge of the blade, and the mid-thickness compression extended to nearly two-tenths of an inch. Now we put our results to the test. Component level fatigue tests are conducted at our lab. ADM notches on the leading edge of the blade are introduced to simulate erosion damage. All the fatigue tests are conducted at the nominal operating stresses of the R0 blade. The high cycle fatigue results show that the applied residual compression completely mitigated fatigue cracking from deep erosion damage. Baseline or unprocessed blades with eight thousandths of an inch damage, the typical maximum before repair or replacement, all failed in under 150,000 fatigue cycles. The LBB process samples did not fail even with 25 thousandths of an inch damage. Process samples with 50 thousandths of an inch damage outperformed the baseline with damage of just eight thousandths. All LBB process samples performed as predicted by the fatigue design diagram. Low plasticity burnishing introduced compression of negative 100 KSI to a depth of 40 thousandths of an inch. Fatigue testing produced no failures with damage up to 25 thousandths, running out at over 15 million cycles. This is a damage tolerance improvement of over three times that of the current baseline limit. Treatment of the R0 blade with compressive residual stress has shown it extends the life of the blade and leads to a significant decrease in operation and maintenance costs. For more information, please visit our website at www.lambdatex.com.